Hey folks, I'm Filler B and welcome back to RimWorld. We are here in a new playthrough with new colonists and a new goal in mind. Um, in this playthrough we are playing with an idea that we are big love caravaneers. We want big families, big love, big community, everybody in this sort of love pile with each other as we travel across the world in our caravan seeking new members to our group as well as seeking a way off the planet. So the goal is to ultimately get off the room world, but um, we'll have fun along the way. So let's introduce our characters with us today. We have Halifax. She's a 30 year old um, uh, bisexual who can't do any uh, dumb labor. She's a story writer and actor. Uh, she's particularly good at plants, artistic, medical, social, and intellectual. She'll largely be our talky, smarty person as well as helping out with the uh, the gardening. She can't do any hauling, which is a bit unfortunate, but you know, everybody else uh, can do that. We have Branford here, who's a 19-year-old exalted prince, or exiled prince, probably was exalted at one point, but is exiled now. He's fast walker, he's gay, he's incapable of caring. However, he's okay at shooting, he's got some passion for it, very good at construction and crafting, so he'll largely be our builder. And uh, he can do some dumb labor, of course, but cannot do medical, which is part of the caring um, aspect, as well as child caring. And our last colonist here is Suri, he's a 25-year-old male. Uh, he's a space smuggler and space raider, a bit of a pirate. Uh, bisexual, he's industrious. He has no capabilities. A uh, really good shooter in melee, a really good cook, okay at plants, okay at crafting, and good at social. Um, Relationship-wise, the social, um, Suri here is the lover of both Halifax and Brantford. I'm going to play it so that uh, they can do that all they want uh, in this kind of colony. Again, these two are the lovers of Suri here. Which brings us to our religion, Big Love. So Big Love is an animist religion. Um, which believes in flesh's purity, so that means no body modifications, no drug use. It's a celebration of the body. Spirits live in all things, and to alter their nature of the thing into is to poison the spirit within. Fusing flesh with machine corrupts the spirit of both. It is said that the spirit of the great Anikube will one day grant its wielder the power over all spirits. Not quite sure what the Anikube is, but it's part of our pre-generated background here. Uh, no organ use. Uh, we are allowed growth baths, but I don't know if we'll do it. Uh, and importantly, this religion, physical love is free and approved. The physical act of love is a noble thing, no matter who does it or with whom. And uh, women and men have unlimited spouses. So we'll probably have big families here of multiple spouses in a big community. Execution is not tolerated. Uh, in fact, it's horrible unless they are guilty. No slavery, no cannibalism, no blindness, no corpses, no fungus, no insect meat, no scarification, no nutrient place, and no skull um, spikes. When they're married, they keep their names. Uh, there are no clothing rules. Reaches at a normal rate, and we're okay with the diversity of thought. We have some roles here. We have a leader, who's our spirit speaker. Our moral guide is the elder sage. And the medical specialist is the love doctor. Uh, we have some rituals here. There's a funeral, the return to the earth. So when somebody dies, it needs to be done around a, a grave. A uh, Sky Lantern Festival, the uplifting of mind, which uh, has a chance to give development points. A dance party, which is a celebration of body. And a uh, social festival which is the Jubilee of Spirit. I believe the Uplifting of Mind has a random chance of giving um, bonus um, opinion of neighboring uh, uh, communities. And uh, the Dance Party and the Spirit, I think, have a, a chance to induct a new member from outside the map. We have some buildings. We have a kneeling sheet, uh, the Lover idea, ideogram, and the, uh, the Clean Shape, which is the Muffalo here. I kept this name because I thought it was silly, but uh, this is what the auto-generated name was. I've named most of the other stuff. Uh, and then our relics are the Chalice of Acceptance and the Figure of Fertility. 
Uh, and of course, we have many different hairstyles in use, and as well as some tattoos that I've allowed as well. Some preferred, particularly the heart tattoos, uh, and then just some that are a little more uncommon. So to start off with, we're on this little map here. That's decent. We're in a temperate forest. We've got lots of little animals. I do have the colorblind mod on. Uh, there's a number of mods here. We can go through them in a second. I do have the colorblind mod on here, which tags uh, different minerals in the rocks as colors, so that's easier to see. I am not colorblind. However, I often miss, especially uh, uranium, uh, but also uh, uh, steel sometimes, compacted steel. Uh, so I like this mod because it helps me see what's going on. So the orange is a compacted steel, pretty easy to see. The yellow is the compacted machinery. This blue is silver. And I think we had one more color. Yeah, some pink over here, which is uranium. Uh, and you can get jade as well, although I don't see any on this map. We got more silver down here and more uranium over there and a whole bunch of compacted steel and machine parts um, all over. Or machinery all over. Uh, we don't appear to have a big structure here anywhere. I'm looking for the ancient danger. I do not see it. It may be in one of these. And, or, no, it's right here. There we go. There's the ancient danger. So we'll try and avoid that. So we don't want to get eaten. Oh, that looks kind of like a ghosty face. Um, Got some fertile soil down there, it's a bit far away. Fertile soil maybe around here. Uh, I think there's a fertility button, is there not? It's pollution. There's no pollution on the map, which is good. There we go. There's a little bit of fertile soil here that we could probably use. There's a bunch in the mountain here, so maybe we could Interesting. Uh, yeah, if this wasn't open, this would be a great spot to go because we got a really nice choke points here. A bunch of fertile soil down there, but it's a bit close to the edge of the map, and I don't like building that close to the edge of the map. Looks like steel floor over there. I think we'll just probably build some spots along here uh, while we build our base in the middle here, maybe right here. Yeah, that looks good. Let's take that... Uh, Viewer off because it's a little bit cluttery to the screen. I'm gonna consider where we're gonna build our base. I think over here. There's a little bit of wall over here, but not really enough to go off of. Yeah, I think over here looks good. It's too bad all this stuff is over here, but I can deconstruct it. I believe. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. We're probably not going to use the geyser because we're not going to stay here long enough. Oh, I should be careful of this as well because this can spawn um, uh, insects. So I should really close this off quite a lot. A couple layers there to close that off to make sure we don't get attacked by insects from that direction. That in mind, maybe we'll set up down this way. Yeah, let's set up in the middle here. So in this playthrough, I'm going to go with a longhouse-like design. So longhouses were something that um, uh, a number of different cultures around the world have used, but around me, the indigenous people of the Six Nations, or Haudenosaunee, or sometimes they're called the Iroquois, uh, were longhouse uh, people. Not the only longhouse people, of course, in North America, but they were ones, and ones that are close to me. And so... They built these long buildings, which I'm going to do here. Uh, and 13 wide, I believe is how long you want it to be. And then 25 is two 13 wide, so we'll do that. So they built these long houses to live in and everybody shared the same room and they would divide it along by clan. Um, and then sides uh, of the long house would be rank ordered and stuff like that. I mean, it wasn't formal, I don't think, in the rank, but who was close to the fire and so on and so forth mattered. And they would store their food and, and, and valuables inside the longhouse, and this would protect them in the winter and as well as uh, uh, from heat in the summer, and they could cook in here and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's very cool. If you've never been to a longhouse, I suggest going to see one. They're pretty cool structures. Um, I've got a number of uh, sites around me here that... Uh, you can go check them out. So let's put in a door at each side. 
get that longhouse built. Uh, then we'll also get a couple of areas down for, no, that's not what I want. I want zone for making food. That's not what I, size I want. I want it to 40 square here like that. Excellent. And then uh, we'll build another one just below it. And I'm going to make this a, this is 40. So I'll do 20 like this. And uh, 20 like that. Now it's not all on um, all on the uh, fertile soil, but that's okay. So we'll do heel root in one, cotton in the other, and this one will be rice to start. And that'll get us going. Now uh, let's unforbid everything on the map here. So we got everything available to us. Uh, we'll stick a big stockpile in here. Uh, like this. And we'll just make this low priority for when I eventually move stuff out to so move out of there. I also want a dumping stockpile. Um, let's stick that over here, I think. A oh, nice big dumping stockpile over there. And uh, we'll get uh, these various rocks out of here. Because they're ugly. The other rocks? Yeah, there's a couple more over here. Perfect. Um, these rocks here will get moved because they're in the way of the construction. I also would like to build some beds, so furniture. Let's build some double beds. I'll build two to start us off. We'll also get us a nice table on this side. We'll get a couple of chairs. We'll get two chairs like this is fine. And then we'll build a wreck building. And we'll stick this right here. We'll build a couple more chairs. There we go. And then we'll want a um, horseshoe pin. Uh, we can keep it inside, why not? Right there. Uh, we'll want a bit of light in here as well. Uh, not temperature. Where's the, here we are, torch lamp. I we'll want a torch lamp uh, like here and a torch lamp down here. Um, and we'll need a few other things, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll leave it for now. Anything else I want to set up right away that I'm thinking of? No. I do want to guarantee the uh, pickup of the correct weapons. So yeah, so Siri here should definitely have the rifle. Oh, you're not out of your box yet. Here we go. Put that, please. And Brantford should have the pistol. I can see the pistol. There it is. You can have that. And Halifax, why don't you grab the knife? Uh, and a couple of things didn't get uh, auto opened or whatever. There we go. Let's go to manager real quick. Not manager, work real quick. Do the priorities here. So I want firefight on. One, I was hitting the wrong button there. Patient is fine. Doctor on one. Bed rest fee is fine. Hall plus. Uh, let's stick that on one. We'll stick child care on one for these two. Uh, basic on one for everyone. Wardening, yes. 
handle. We don't really have a person who does handling yet. You want to be cooking on a two, on a one. Hunting. You can assist with this if you've got nothing else to do. I'd rather you grew, actually. And plant cut. Smithing, tailoring, crafting is fine. Everybody can craft, in fact. Looks good there. Your construct on two, your grow on two. And then plant cut. It's good. Uh, speaking of plant cutting, let's chop wood. Chop wood in the area here. And let's harvest everything in the larger area here. All right, let our little colonists go here. It will kick up the speed to two to let them uh, get stuff done. Oh, thank you, Branford, for building the tables. Probably not the biggest priority, but that's okay. Siri's getting the planting done. Again, not picking the thing that I would have picked right away, but you know. C'est la vie. Oh, Halifax has got the rice going. That's good. I'm not setting, I do have the quality builder mod on. I'm not setting that. Actually, I'm going to set it on these beds. Uh, let's make them uh, at least normal, please. Oops. Normal. Everything else is, I don't care. And because we're caravanning, we need to think about what we want to caravan with. So we're going to need bed rolls. So I'm going to make sure I get those built as soon as I can. Uh, and we're going to need um, sidearms for everybody. So we'll have to get that done as well. Of course, we got our horsey here, Saucy. Now, Saucy, I'm just going to put down a hitching post for you. You know, we could build a proper uh, pen for them, but I don't really see it as necessary right now. I'm just going to figure out where that hitching post is under misc. Caravan hitching spot. There we go. And we'll stick you uh, up here. Well, that reminds me, I need to put somebody on handle so they do that. So let's do that. Let's stick it on a one so somebody goes and deals with that for me as soon as possible. Thank you, Brantford. We do need to train our dog. So let's get the training of a hall underway here as well. Looking around the map, huh? Oh, what's this? Contains an ancient mechanoid transponder. Attack this to destroy it. Hmm. I haven't seen this before. Must be in the new uh, uh, patch or whatever. I'll have to destroy that. Not sure what it does if you destroy it. Oh yeah, this. I'm gonna build some wooden walls here right away. Just to make sure that we don't have any shenanigans with uh um, insects. And probably gonna build it like a four deep wall. Thank you, Branford. Everybody's sleeping on the floor, but that's okay.
I'm also playing with the new um, mod that uh, adds new music to the, uh, the game. So I think this song in particular is one of the new songs for the game. It's quite cool, I like it quite a lot. The songs in the original Worm World are quite, uh, quite good. Um, but uh, it can get a little repetitive, so I'm uh, glad they've added some more stuff, and this stuff is pretty good so far. Waiting for it. Let's put it on the high speed until these people wake up. Don't need to watch them sleep. Need to get stuff done. Thank you, Halifax. Getting up early. For a snack. Midnight snack. And going back to bed. As well as Surrey. That's funny. Well, Branford, are you gonna do the same thing? No, you've gone back to building. Alright, we'll take this down to mid-level again. Don't want to rush too fast here. These two should get out of bed. Please, thank you. Oh, Surrey. Thank you. It's quite a long time there, eh? Should be plant cutting, harvesting over wood. Oh well, we'll see. We'll get around to it, I guess. So if we take a little look at the overworld here, you can see we're right next to the Imperium, which is not too bad. We're also next to, to a toxic uh, raider's place and a couple of tribal colonies over here in the same group. There's also a um, hostile uh, frontier faction over here. I think that's what that symbol means. It doesn't really say. other factions over the other way here. Generally we're in a decent spot. I think that's the uh, beaver people. Oh, Prantford's getting the roof up. We got our beds done. Good. Normal, normal. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I should exclude from here. Um, raw resources. Don't need stone blocks. Last steel, steel, or uranium. Or even wood, really. To be in here. And that can all be out here, I think. I'll just make a specific uh, zone for it. Zone, stockpile. Uh, we'll stick one here, I think. This will be for uh, clear all, but uh, steel, uranium, wood, Plast steel stone blocks. Perfect. Nicely enclosed now. What are you up to? Oh, you're on a date. You're hauling wood, and you're on a date. Well, that's cute. Let's um, designate a little bit of mining right here. This is more compacted machinery, I believe. Yeah, get most of this compacted machinery. This will be a resource we want to make sure that we have plenty of. But that's done. We got some cargo pods, how nice. 
We'll get the silver in mind as well. Or not the silver, the uh, iron. Now the cargo pods. Let's take a look. Gave us a whole bunch of silver. Excellent. Can allow that. So let's think about building stuff, production stuff. So we definitely want the fueled stove. Let's build that uh, over here. A stump in the way? Yes, there is. I'll build it there. Uh, let's get rid of all the stumps. Thank you. And then we want the butcher's bench. Let's stick that out here. Doesn't matter that it's outside, just slower work. Uh, we'll get the manager's desk. Stick that there. I'm going to uh, forbid that one for the moment. Anything else I want down here? Oh, stone cutter's table. That would be a good one to get. So let's get that one as well. That way we can go. So we can switch this stuff from wood to stone for now. Oh, we'll mostly be building out of wood anyhow. All right, so let's add a bill. Let's go uh, cook fine. Cook fine, cook simple, cook simple, do until we'll make this the way we have like, I don't know, six. Sorry, is here cooking. Now we had hunting set up. We do on Surrey. If we get a little bit of hunting done, let's go to the animals. Ah, that's our animals. Let's go to wildlife. And I would like, uh, I wouldn't mind these donkeys actually. Yeah, let's tame these donkeys. And let's hunt these deer. Just three. Halifax, you don't have anything to do? Let's set you up a uh, simple workbench here. Or, uh, what do you call it? Research bench? Branford, what are you doing? You're hauling. Yep. Another trick I learned was to do a grow zone. I think this will look nice. We'll do it all the way down the middle here. Oh, hold on. I need to um, shrink zone by doing this. And then we'll do the stockpile again over here. Have a low priority. No uh, wood, uranium, steel, glass, steel, or stone blocks, please. There we go. And then uh, we'll expand you down here, that, and have you grow uh, daily lease. Increases the um, beauty of the room quite quite a bit, and offsets sort of negative things like sleeping in a barracks, having an ugly room, and so on. Oh, uh, research project. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, a mad guinea pig. Okay, we'll do the research project and then the mini guinea pig. 
So early on, uh, pemmican would be good. Survival meals would be good. Let's get packaged survival meals right away. Because that's what we're going to use to travel. And then we got our mad guinea pig. All right, all three of you. Uh, come outside, please. Guinea pig, where are you? You're over here. Okay. Here it comes. And someone has the plague. Come on, you're not that bad of a shot. Where are you going? Kitty Pig, where are you going? Perfect. All right, so with the plague, Branford's got it. So, no, I want a uh, structure, furniture, bed. We'll make a, uh, a bed here and we'll make this a at least normal quality bed. Branford, could you very quickly prioritize doing that? I know you're sick, but we'll get you uh, your medicine in just a second. I just need you lying down. We'll make this the uh, medical bed. Thank you. Now, medical, rest, and our doctor, um, tent. There we go. 100% quality tend. We'll take a look at the health. Minor plague. Immunity is going up quite quickly. I think we'll be fine. Oh yeah. Just gonna make sure this overtakes the other one. It looks like it is. There we go. Perfect. He should be fine. So that takes us to the end of this episode. Hope you're enjoying the series. As this is the first episode in a series, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell your friends. Uh, it really helps out the series, it helps out this episode, it helps the channel uh, quite a lot. Hope to see you in the next episode of RimWorld as we continue our adventures with the Big Love Caravan. Uh, maybe we'll attract some new members, finish off the base a bit, and get ready to go in, I don't know, maybe 10 to 20 days. We'll head off to our next location. So hope to see you then. Have a great day.